So welcome to five essentials for lasting change. These essentials, again, what are the essentials? Number one? Faith. Faith. Number two? Food. Three? Fitness. Fitness. Four? Focus. Five friends. Very good. Wow, you have a very good um, me memory retention. The essentials are a pathway to much more than improve physical health. Meaning it is balance. Not only physical health, but also spiritual, mental, social will be developed. Each of the essentials holds up our life, enlivens our body, enriches our minds, and fills our hearts. Integrating these five essentials will help us to love fully, to serve joyfully, and ultimately live out our calling at our best. Praise the Lord. Now, first we will be talking about faith essentials. The, the, the amazing verse of this is found in Philippians 4.30. Can you recite what it is? Yes, I can do all things. I can lose weight. I can eat vegetables. I can I can do exercise. I can exercise every day. Or I can sleep eight hours every night. With Christ or through Christ who strengthens. Philippians 4, 13. It's one of my favorite verses. Now, we cannot do, we cannot lose weight without God's power. We cannot be healthy without God's power. We cannot really love fully without God's power. So we need God's power. We need the Holy Spirit to change us. And we need to invite the Holy Spirit to dwell in our hearts. It has been said that sometimes we are not inviting the Holy Spirit to be with us. So we allow Christ to live through us so that we can change our life. The best, of course, you will say that a bata pa ko, okay lang kung magkaon sa mga hindi mga healthy, kaya bata ko mga ko. But always remember that every action has a consequence. So what you do today, you will reap it tomorrow. We choose to do the right thing in situations and, and then trust God's Spirit to give us His power, love, faith, and wisdom to do it. So all things are possible with God. I'm always reminding myself with with, with many it is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. I know that you have a lot of experiences to prove this, this verse in March 1926. With many it is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. So it is possible that we can eat vegetables a lot, we can be healthy, we can lose weight, we can exercise, we can sleep at least eight hours at night, and we can smile a lot. Because one of the healthiest things that we can do to ourselves is to smile. Smile. Our body cannot distinguish whether your smile is fake or not. The, the, the benefits are the same. So it's better to smile, and in the long run, it will not be fake. It will be true smile. So we need God to change us. It's my personal testimony before the lockdown that I cannot live without eating fish. Meaning, I always pray for a fish. But because of God's power, I was able to, you know, avoid fish, although in our house, siyempre yung mga kapitbahay na luluto, ay, ang bang nang pinalito, kadami, what? So, you just, you just wish, but I'm not already craving for it. So, it is God's power. I, it's not my power. It is 
goes far. Are you ready to help God change your life? And I cannot, I cannot, but um, my life will not be complete without an exercise. So it's part of my life, it's part of my daily schedule. And it's not what I am, but it's God's power that I was able to do it. I do a lot of prayer journals because of God's power. Living with faith means you are attempting to do something you cannot do yourself. With God, today's impossibility is tomorrow's a miracle. God is a miracle mover or miracle worker. So you will say, ah, hindi naging tuguro ka pang asawa or hindi naging ko ka kalus weight or hindi naging ko ka like you want everything thoughts. But with God, it's, it's all possible. With, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So we need faith. It will take faith to achieve and maintain the total health that God desires for us. Okay. Next. The love beyond the power. Number one. God's love is wide enough to ev be everywhere. So there is, uh, wala in oras, wala in time, na wala kang minapansin sa gino. Meaning, God is always there for you. He is everywhere. And number two, God's love is long enough to last forever. So if you were abandoned by your boyfriend, let us rest assured that God's love is long enough to last forever. So God's love is unconditional. He loves us no matter what we did. Okay? He loves us but hates our sins. No? He loves the sinners and hates the sins. So God's love is unconditional, unchanging, unending. And God's love is high above to be everywhere. It is, it is really worth that we praise God for His love. Next, God's love is deep enough, deep enough to handle anything. You know the song, Deep and Wide? That's the love of God, right? Deep and wide. God's love for you is deeper, mom. Deeper, you're deeper than the ocean. You know how deep the ocean is? Very deep. God's love is high enough to overlook my sins. And it's not about our performance, it's not about our talents, it's not about our grades or whatever, it's about our relationship with the Lord. How is your relationship with the Lord? Have you, before you open your cell phone, have you read your Bible first? Or have you read your devotional book first before opening the Bible? Okay, now let's go to number, the next subtopic, how God's power, God's power works. God uses his spirit to, to change us. Number one, God uses His word to change us. That's why we need to read the Bible. Not only read, but memorize. Memorize. Are you memorizing it? It's one of the secrets for total health. If you cannot sleep, if you have insomnia, and you try to recall your memory verses, then you, you can sleep up to God uses His Word to change us. And number two, God uses His Spirit to change us. The Holy Spirit. Usually during the night, I say, Good night, Father. Good night, dear Jesus. Good night, dear Holy Spirit. So we, need, we really need to, to mention the Holy Spirit. Because usually, we, we just, the Father, the Son, 
parang parang na left over ang Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit is very important. God uses circumstances to change us. So how God's power works? Number one, God uses His Word to change us. We need to read the Bible every day to change us. Number two, God uses His Spirit to change us. That's why we need to invite the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot do anything. And number three, God uses circumstances to change us. For example, you were you were then here, even though you don't like here. But it has a purpose. God used this circumstance for you to change. Okay? And we know that all things work. Yes, ma'am? Your favorite verse, Romans 8, 28. And we know that. And we know that all things work together for good. For those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Praise God for the Holy Spirit. Now, the Lord gives us the word, the instruction, the circumstances for us to change. So what is our part? Now let us go to our personal part in, change, in changing our lives. Number one, choose to fill your mind with God's word every day. The way you think determines the way we feel, and the way we feel determines the way we act. It's very, very important how you think. How's your thoughts today? How's your thoughts tonight? And if you're always thinking about the Bible, the Bible, the Word of God, then you will feel the, the word of the Bible. And then, because of that, you act what the Bible says. If you are serious about improving your life and your health, according to research, you need at least 10 minutes only. At least 10 minutes to read the Bible. This is, this is not my findings, but it is research-based. Ten minutes a day reading the Bible. What are you going to do? Meditate what you have read. Write down what you learn, and then talk to God in prayer. Are, are you having a prayer journal? It's very effective. I have already seven or eight prayer journals. And I can trace how the Lord answered my prayers. Amazingly. So if you don't, if wala pa kung mukha sa prayer journal, start prayer journal. It's, it's really wonderful. Why not fill your mind with God's word and you will have no room for Satan's lies? Our part in change, number one, number two, number one, ganyan is what? Choose to fill your mind with God's word every day. And number two, choose to depend on God's spirit every moment. So the question is, how do you develop a vibrant, life-giving relationship to God? To develop a friendship with the Lord is we need to have a continual conversation. What do you mean by continual conversation? Pray without ceasing. Whether you are cooking, you are washing your clothes, you are doing your mudras, you are talking to God. Continual conversation. Continuous. Listening to Him, to His Word, and talking with Him in prayer. Honestly, honest confession, while I have this, the Lord impressed me to do this. Because I want to share this healthy food for you. And while I'm doing this, 
a lot of ideas, I know it's from the Lord. So, 6.30, nagubak ang mga dinner, so, ha, na stress ko her. I make a, another option to make a basil and reason tea for you with chia seeds. So, this, this ideas came from God. Number two, we're done with the faith essential. What have you learned from the faith essential? We need to read the Bible, right? To fill our mind with God's words. Next, let's go to food. We love food, right? Yes. yes. Every time there's a birthday party, wedding, oh, you're thinking about food. So, a uh, tip for those who will be have your wedding song soon. Please prepare your food very well. Bahala na that the people will always remember your food. Ay, kinami po mga kasabi. Gusto po sabi kami. Pero, kailan po mga kasabi? Ano kinulaman na yung food? Bisan ano ka namin sa iyong program sa church, they will not remember it. They will remember the food. Okay. So make it sure that your food is really enough or more than enough. Sa mga kakasalin dito. It's a tip for you. And a very good Bible verse here is whatever we do or whatever we eat or drink, let's do it. Or for the glory of God. Wow! Ano kang ba ni Pocalis? Let food be thy medicine. Thy medicine shall be thy food. Meaning, young ladies, ara lang rin sa atang pag-ibot. Di ba, you remember our our mothers? Wala man sila yung pa-doctor sa atong sa una. Pero older pa man. No? Puro herbs. Di pa mga kampus? Sa una wala na gusto ang mga pa-doktor. Sa una, puro herbs na. So, food can heal. There's... Actually, I, I, I have read a book that food is one of the most powerful drugs in the universe. Wow. The most powerful drugs. Because food can heal us, can invigorate us, can energize us. But, I don't much to I say, go, go, go. Or, go, 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 Food has the power to heal us. And food is the most powerful tool to help prevent and treat many of our chronic diseases. Wow. Praise the Lord. We have actually now what we call lifestyle medicine. So in lifestyle medicine, the lifestyle doctors are specializing in, in preparation of food and vegetable juices, fruit juices. So praise the Lord that we have foods around us, herbs, fruits to heal us. So what are the foods? What what kind? What kind? What food we are going to eat? It's said here, real foods, whole, fresh, and unprocessed. Okay. So as you can see, these are all fresh, these are all, this, these are not processed. So we need to eat for us to be well, for us to be healed from all our diseases. We need to eat real foods, whole, fresh, antibiotic-free, hormone-free. In case you eat chicken or beef or grass-fed, Wide range, meaning ipa, ipabayaan lang ba, wala itong ulo. Antibiotic-free, hormone-free, 
grass fed, grass feed, and then yeah, organic. So how about our chicken today? Is is it's hormone free? No, it's a lot. It's, it's injected with a lot of hormones. So grow your own, my dear young ladies. Grow your own. What are the benefits? It can increase your energy. It can lose weight. Because the real foods, whole, fresh, and processed, has a lot of fibers that can give us what? That, that can uh, give us a uh, lose weight. I blew, uh, I, with God's grace and God's power, I lose three kilos because of eating this. <laughs> Struggling to be, you know, praying to the Lord to be vegetarians or vegan. Number three, reverse many chronic illnesses. So hypertension, diabetes, what are the chronic illnesses that we have? Okay. Ulcers, all can be cured, no? With with healthy lifestyle. You feel lighter, you will be more motivated to exercise to aerobic time, And your mood will be lifted. And your brain will have better clarity if you eat real foods, whole, fresh, and unprocessed. Noodles are fresh. French fries are fresh. Okay, so just think of it. Now this is actually the perfect plate eating plan for all of us. But what happened to the Filipinos? Almost, almost, I don't know. Rice and kadam, the main one is with the rice, grabbing it on rice, the kadam rice, the main one is with the So, what happened to the Filipinos today? A lot of diabetes, high blood, ulcer. So, this is the idea. Huh? Uh, non starchy vegetables, about 50% in the shop. I will explain what are the non-starchy vegetables. And then, mom, the video, 25% ng mga lean proteins, or vegetable proteins, or lean proteins, like mga bisaya ka na ng or o muna, you know, 25% na lang siya. Then yung rice mo, or starchy vegetables, 25% lang lang. And then you have low glycemic fruit, and then no soft drinks, no sweetened fruit, only water or herbal teas. I'll, I'll let you drink a herbal tea by and by. Okay, so the picture na na plate. Actually, we can do this with God's power, right? So these are the examples of non-starchy vegetables. Uh, I, ano na lang natin ang wala dara? I, substitute sa mong Filipino food. Non-starchy veggies, we have asparagus, we have here, right? Bell peppers, broccoli, cauliflower, collard greens, cucumbers, green beans, carrots, spinach, sashimi. Imagine ang kumpers, hindi dapat 50%. <laughs> and then yung protein mo, beans, beer, chicken, eggs, halibol, halibol is a fish na. Yung nyamo ka uh, stale, kapalang kapal stale na. And then lentils, wow, I like lentils. You can buy this in SM. It's very nice. Nuts, 
Salmon, seeds, turkey. But remember, if you eat meat, huh? the, the condition is antibiotic free, hormone free, grass feed. Why why French mini di kabayan mo lang? Layaw ba ako sa inyo ko ba layaw? Then spinach or grain. We have beets, we have brown or black rice. We have carrots, buckwheat, green peas, corn, and cornea. Oh, paano ni magpronounce ng kampus? Cornea, cornea. Yeah, this cornea, huh? Quinoa. This is very nutritious. It's, it's really very nutritious. Sweet potatoes, amote, no? turnips, winter squash. Then we have low glycemic fruit. Apples, blackberries, blueberries, goji berries, grapefruit, plums, kiwi, nectarines, peaches. Rust berries. Mga berries. Ang berries talaga grabe antioxidants. Very powerful. Gift. It's so sad na wala na kayo dito sa Philippines. But the berries they the grabe. Strawberries. Strawberries. Yeah, but it's in Baguio. Okay, if you want to, clean, to cleanse, uh, to detox, these are the foods for you to detoxify. We have the limes, of course, calamansi, the flaxseed oil, Brussels sprouts, kale, avocado oil, broccoli, blue green algae, chlorella. Uh, I am taking actually chlorella six, uh, six tablets because, because it's detox, nakaka detox. Olive oil, coconut oil, hemp oil, alfalfa sprouts, arugula, garlic, spinach, lemons, spirulina, onions, cabbage, turmeric, chard, wheatgrass. So, ano lang ato na ang gulay? Tapay na ito mga maagamit for detox. Limes, turmeric, garlic, onions. So actually, virgin coconut oil, you can, you can drink the virgin coconut oil for detox. So for cleansing, siya ha? Now these are the top 20 antioxidant-rich foods. What are the antioxidant-rich foods? Amunin siya ang mga nakapagawa pa, hindi ito magtigulang na yun. So amunin ang mga, we need to eat a lot of antioxidant. What are the examples? Arakansha, goji berries, elderberries, blackberries, oregano. Actually, recently, the personal testimony I have on my beauty eye. I drink oregano mam amkus. If you see one night, the dula for infection. So, oregano is very good for UTI because it has antibacterial property. Parsley. So, I have parsley here. Where's my parsley? There. Where's my parsley? So you, can, uh, you can use it in, in your soup, in your laswa, salad. Then dark chocolate, cranberry, cilantro, turmeric, basil. Ah, oh, praise the Lord. So, for those who want to plant basil, you can actually edahdasig lang siya ng tubo. So, you can, you can get one and plant for you. Kasi violet daw is for beauty. Nakapa beauty ang violet. Okay? So, I have five here, so. First come, first serve. Plant basil to make you more beautiful. Okay, and then we have pecans. Okay, I have pecans here. I have pecans here. Antichoke, clove, 
cocoa, ginger, blueberries, kidney beans, cinnamon, cumin, cumin thyme. I have thyme in, in the house. Okay? So these are the beauty, beauty food. Now, so, uh, this is for, for Mama Maria, for Mama Campos, for Mama Roy, for me. Kasi nasa ano na kami, nasa age na kami na the hormonal imbalance. But, as early, you know, may mga, may mga ladies na as 30 na the hormonal imbalance na. Because of, of, of unhealthy lifestyle. So, this is the food to balance your hormones. No? What are the food? Avocado, turmeric, flaxseed, seaweed, pomegranate, macaroon, soy. Well, soy beans, no, tofu, is one of the best for, hormone, for, for your hormones to be balanced. Coconut oil, nuts, lentils, Leafy greens, bell peppers. The powder of the Yeah. Yeah. That's very nice, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the best hormone balancing food. So I'm going to get to the lawyers and your mama prayers, your mama, mama nyo, aunties, titas. Okay, sa mga ga, mungus, Andrew Post. If I need that time, Andrew Post na. Oh, kao na sila si me. To balance their hormones. Okay? Now, we need, if I the Bible, nuts and seeds and grains, the Bible is really, really complete, no? When it comes to instruction to help. So, what are the health benefits of seeds? We need to eat a lot of seeds, like chia seeds. So, I am my chia seeds, I put a lot of chia seeds there. It helps regulate blood, blood sugar, anti-inflammatory, high fiber. Flaxseed, high in fiber, and omega-3 fatty acids. Very important omega-3 is at the lowest, okay? Because, because if wala ka omega-3 fatty acids, as uh, by and by, meron siya cost. Pumpkin seeds promote better sleep. Hemp seeds, sunflower seeds. So I have, I have sunflower seeds here, lower cholesterol, anti-inflammatory, and a great source of magnesium. According to research, why Japanese live longer? Because they eat a lot of foods that are rich in magnesium. That's their secret. That's one of their secrets. They eat a lot of food that is rich in magnesium. Okay, so what are the, okay, you know that, the plant-based eatings, so we will skip that, and then, how about the oil? What are the healthy fats or the healthy oil? Olive oil is very healthy, basta hindi ko lang siya inigong. You just put in your salad. Or you can put in your vegetables, basta wala na siya sa heat. And fish oil, grapeseed oil, walnuts, sesame, wow, sesame oil is very nice. Very nice. Avocados, nuts and seeds, olives, and coconut. So these are the healthy fats. We need essential oils. We need healthy fats for our bodies. Foods, okay? Foods can heal us, but it can also harm us. So what are the foods that can harm us? One of the biggest threats to our health is the dramatic increase of sugar in all forms in our diet in the last hundred years. So try to read the labels. What are the major sugars? It's not healthy, just milk, agave, agave, 
barley malt, brown rice syrup, brown sugar, coconut sugar, evaporated or dehydrated cane juice, sugar, honey, maple syrup, molasses, fine sugar. They are not actually healthy. Hidden sugars are toxic sugars. Dextrose, dextrin, disaturized, fructose, high fructose corn syrup, monosaturized, hydrogenated starches, glucose, lactose, maltodextrin, maltose, this sucrose, these are very dangerous. These are really toxic sugars. They are hidden in all the drinks, in all the junk foods and fast foods. Okay, why sugar is the main cause of disease? Sugar triggers a cascade of changes in your body that makes you sick and fat. So, I don't think I'm going to have any more compost for some of our Banana, raisins, or meat for, for it to be sweet. Or you, you can add mango, mangoes. Uh, lampa. So, as much as possible, let us pray to the Lord that we avoid sugar. Because you eat quickly, absorb sugar or refined carbohydrates like white flour. Your blood sugar spikes, your insulin levels spike, and insulin triggers the storage of belly fat. So, one of the causes of belly fat is we eat a lot of sugary foods. And it increases our appetite and sugar cravings. The sugar, particularly the fructose in high fructose corn syrup, turns on a cholesterol factory in your liver called lipogenesis, increasing LDL or bad cholesterol, lowering HDL good cholesterol, and raising triglycerides. This leads to a fatty liver. So sugar, so many people tell you, is really dangerous to our health. The bottom line is, sugar is an occasional threat. Meaning, once a week, or once a year, <laughs> or during birthdays, right? When you have sugar, stick with traditional, natural forms. Low sugar, low honey, natural fruit sugars. Pure apple syrup. Stay away from all the rest. So it depends on soft drinks. Use it in things you make yourself, but sparingly. Avoid all hidden and added sugars by carefully reading labels. Oh, before we eat that, we will finish my lecture first, huh? Let's go to fitness. Tapos na kita sa faith, food, fitness. Okay. First Corinthians 6, 19, 20. Do you know that your bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit? Yes. Our bodies is the temple of the Holy Spirit. We need to honor God with our bodies. First Corinthians 6, 19, 20. Wow! Our body is designed to move. Move. It's made to move. Move your body. So when we don't, our health suffers. But when we move, our health goes or we do try. So let us move a lot. According to George Bernard Shaw, we don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. Okay? And let's play like a child. Because you are still the beautiful child inside you. You have a child in you. So, discover what, what moves you enjoy. Okay, discover what moves you can enjoy. So move, 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 move. Okay, we'll move. This is what we are going to call the sitting disease. Yeah. Usually, this is 
very common nowadays because we are in online. Imagine, wala na ito na bala. Anak, two, three hours na ito. Sige po ko, wala na bala. Dapat lang ha? What will happen? Eight. According to research, no? six hours per day sitting, ah, six hours na paglapat, you have 94% likely to die. Ha? Six hours, six hours na sitting ka na po ko, you have 94% likely to die. Grabe din ang effect sa health. City. Yeah, it's very dangerous. And you can have cancer, obesity, musculoskeletal problems, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and the most dangerous is early death. Women who remains 10 years of sedentary life shorten their lifespan. So, ano ipo nyo? Alarm, mag-alarm mo po every hour. At least, if you go up and stretch, you go to the bathroom, you go to the faucet and drink water. And move and stretch. Okay? <laughs> Ang mo Diyos, hindi mga bayar kung mga masakit ha. So, let's avoid sitting disease. The dangers of sitting disease. So, an active lifestyle affects our body. Okay? So, instead, instead na magpungkol, Magtawag sa boyfriend, si boyfriend. Chat! Hello, Bang! Oh, I love you! Oh, di ba? So, instead of magsigit mo po, magsigit ka lang. Oh, sige lang. Move your body. For your health. Okay? Now, we have a play method for us to be healthy physically. P-L-A-Y. What is the word? Play. play. So P stands for prayerful movements throughout your day. Everybody stand. Everybody stand. Okay. So we need to stand up for one to two minutes and thank God for the many blessings in your day and life. So, stretch your thank you Lord for the gift of life. Everybody, thank the Lord for the gift of life. Start! Thank you Lord.
Pastor, to let them not be angry in your office if you have hula hoop or jump rope for just two minutes. It's very important for our health. Okay? Yes. So, move your body always. So, what is P? What is P? Prayer for movements throughout your day. So you know, I praise the Lord. Praise God's what? <laughs> and number two, L. What is L? Loosening brace or stretching. I'm not doing it even on stretching. Before you exercise, you have to warm up. After the exercise, warm down. It's very important. Number one, increase circulation, greater flexibility, better balance. Lower stress levels, reduce injuries, reduce pain, more energy, increase mobility, improve posture, increase exercise performance. So stretch first before we exercise. So I pray that I want to join some Charumics. Charumics time, yes. So these are the, a lot of stretching, no? but these are the examples. We have tries of stretch, lunge. Oh, kaya ko na mama, no? Mom, keeping you Standing hamstring, bicep stretch, chest, shirt, shoulder, walk. Kama na mga niwang pa kamo, kaya ko din. Mga sexy, kaya pa. Ano ba? Ano, ano, nagudlayin mo, ma? And we need to do aerobic exercise. Terrific something is an aerobic exercise. So what are the examples? Cycling, swimming, walking, running, skipping, hiking. Okay? It's good, very good for your heart. Our heart is a muscle, so we need to exercise our heart. Because our heart is a muscle. Active games. Ano ba yung games nyo? Badminton? Ano pang sports na ito? Bowling? Yes. So there is a lot of benefits. Weight loss. Increases lifespan, reduce, uh, improves metabolism. Why? Let's go to why. Why stands for youthful strength training. So, what are the benefits of this youthful strength training? Boost metabolism, or not? improves it, manages weight, reduces body fat, and so on and so forth. Okay. So what are the youth training examples? Barbell, boot camp training, body calisthenics, canoeing, kayaking, yun din yan, yun din yun. And then dumbbell training, gymnastics. Oh, Mama Melinda is a very good gymnast. No, 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 no. And then, pull up first. Finally, the Maya. Resistance bands, rock climbing, rowing motions, sandbag, lifting, jogging, or throwing sled training. So, what do you want to try in Mama Glana? What do you want to try here? To, to strength, uh, to, to try your strength? Barbell. <laughs> Number nine, wow, rock climbing. Mom, Rosel, what do you want to try? Gymnastics. Huh? Gymnastics. Wow, praise God. Now, reflect and take a step. The key to fitness is discovery.
every movement that you enjoy. So, kahit ano mong exercise, kung mong doktas ka, hindi lang yan kung maging healthy. Pero wala, wala kang hinapon na smile. Kapukwad na po. Oo, so you will not be healthy. So you have to discover what is the exercise that you really enjoy. So don't worry about other people. Or you can join Pastor Teledo in his ground therapy. Naga grounding therapy siya every morning. Grounding therapy is also very good to our health. We connect because of our body is from, from the dust, from the... So we, once we connect our body to where we belong, naga is a negative ion. So negative ion is very important in our health. Choose activities that bring you joy and put a smile on your face. Start with a small step in the right direction and consider asking a friend, mom only, to join you. Okay? And you will be amazed how great you can feel. Woo! Let's go to focus essential. I told you my lecture is a little bit longer. Are you still okay? Yeah. Yeah. Is that a Now let's go to mental health. Okay, balance your lecture. Tapos na kita sa faith, ano ta ko? Food. 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 Fitness. Fitness. And then we have focus. The mental health. The Bible verse for him is, is what? I be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans 12, 2. Change your brain and you will change your mind. Okay. I have actually a book, Change Your Brain, Change Your Life. Your brain is the most amazing organ. Why? It is only 2% man depending on your body's weight, but it uses 20 to 30% of the arteries you consume. And 20% of the oxygen and blood flow. It is the most expensive real estate in your body that requires the most resources. And it has 100 billion nerve cells and more connections in it than there are stars in the universe. But if you abuse our brain, and I have a doctor, KRS, minus, 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 minus. So, sige, tanap sa K-drama for the whole night. Minus, minus, minus. If you drink coke, minus, minus, minus. Okay? Kung nagpangliba ka, kung nagpangaki, minus, minus. Okay? So, our brain is really the most important in our body. That's why it's protective and indeed siya ma. Mabangga ma'am. Ginadunet. That's why ang helmet, hindi sa siko, kundi sa ulo. Guys, that's the only, this the only part na may aras ka. Because the skull protects our brain. It's very sensitive. So, magkabata kong sa pregate, don't let them play football or yung mga my head, my heading. It's very dangerous. It will really affect the behavior and the emotions. When your brain works right, you will work also right. But when your brain is troubled, you are much more likely to have trouble. That's why, why you cannot understand your, your friends? Wala ka mong kabala na naka-abi siya, mas Now, five minutes unconscious. It really affects the behavior. Na may mga, may mga couples na bisan ano nga therapy, marital therapy, wala sila ga ayo Because there's trouble in the brain. 
And the only doctor na wala ina look is the psychiatrist. Ang heart ina mugana na ultrasound. Ang kidney tana, ang brain nila. La ano na? Yes na according to the symptoms. But we need to look at the brain. In in the US we have a spec. A very ano lang ani mam campus very expensive. Para balaan kung ano ang problema sa imong brain nga asig ka mo away sa imong bana nga asig ka mo di ka mo mag-engine di hanay two years of counseling no effect because the brain is so kung sa inyong mga estudyante bisa na nung wala higay mo wala ka pati hindi magpago always remember that the brain struggles ask for an emergency mga accidents or whatever Near drowning, inang kapit na 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 ano siya? Na lumos. Na lumos? O, basta mawala ka niya ang oxygen sa brain. Grabe. Makapit, makapit yung behavior. But, with a healthy brain, people are happier. Physically healthier because they make better decisions. People with healthy brains are often wealthier. You want to be healthy? You want to be healthy? Protect your brain to be healthy. When the brain is not healthy, people are sadder, safer, poorer, and less successful. So, brain health is very important. That's why, may arang yung natawag si Dr. Amen, one of the very well known psychiatrist in the US, brain envy. What do you mean by brain envy? We, we need to have 100% 100 to take good care of our brain. Once na masira ang ating brain, ang piktado lang na. So, brain health is very, very important. Seven warnings if your brain is in trouble. Okay? Analyze me, kung hindi ka modera o wala. You're in trouble if you have poor memory. Your brain is in trouble. Ah, uh, ano, hindi na, hindi na kanong ganun ko kaya yan. Poor judgment or impulsive. Sige ng shopping. Grabe pang decide, impulsive lang. Isa mo lang sa budget, ano, ah, bakyon. Impulsive buyer. Short attention span. Hindi makapokus. Obesity or being overweight. Because as your weight goes up, your ability to think and reason goes down as well. If you have also low energy, meaning your brain is in trouble. If you have chronic insomnia or sleep apnea, apnea this, ano, inagili pa lang ang inawa during sleep, nag-stop ang breathing mo, na sleep up niya. So this is very dangerous. People who get less than 7 hours of sleep at night have lower overall blood flow to the brain and poorer cognitive function. Kaya ladies, we need 8 hours of sleep to function very well. So if we, <laughs> if we lang natin mo, if we lang natin mo, Ano oras ma ano si Ma'am Toledo? So, ginagawa na 8 hours. <laughs> Except the night na po, ma. So, kahit naglawig mo ng lecture ni Ma'am Toledo, so, ano na natin? <laughs> oh, you know, so, if you have any of this, it is time to develop brain and be and start taking much better care of your brain. Now, what is the effect of stress in your whole brain? Uh, stress is normal na, ano ano lang ng life stress na. Do we need stress at only to move, to move, to move, to get into the life? But it is chronic stress that is very dangerous. It contributes blood flow, ka makapag old sa atong age, aging. Living with a stress in a 
a daily basis means you are likely to have issues with your weight and brain your emotions are going to be it is a straight up with anxiety, depression, Alzheimer's disease. So these are the symptoms of stress. We have cognitive symptoms, emotional symptoms, physical symptoms, behavioral symptoms. Okay, picture on the line. Ay, lupan mo ko! Chargers. Charger, please. So... Give energy. Give energy. Let's go to stress management. Number one, pray on a regular basis. Because prayer comes, stress and enhances brain function. Number two, if you have many, many, many obligations, learn to delegate. Two of the greatest life skills that we can learn in life are the art of delegation and the ability to say no. Or, kung may mga po sa inyo, ah, mom, let me think about it. So that you can have time to process. Kaysa sa, oh, sige, sige, sige. Ay, tapos, ano mo na gabi na hala? Hindi, lang mo pag-busy. So the, the best the best word that you can say is let me think about it. And listen to soothing music. Okay, music has two kinds: the bad music, the good music. But listen to good music. Now, huh? music has a healing power that can bring peace to a stressful mind. I usually like Mozart music. No. Very nice. And consider common sense. Lavender, if you are stressed, anxious, tama niyo na. Sino sino ang anxious theory or may sakit ulo or stress? You can try. It's it's very very good. And it can it can help you sleep well. Drop you sa temples, sa mga pulse points. Okay, it has a calming, it's a calming scent. Okay, so this is lavender. Lavender. It's it's has calming, stress relieving properties. Reduces cortisol level. What is cortisol level? It's a stress hormone, ha? Once a drop in stress, natural cortisol level naman natural is very high. It's very dangerous for our health as well. So it promotes relaxation and stress reduction. So the other day, I was really stressed. So I was like, Then, I was like, Then, I was like, And praise God, I was like, I'm stressed. And exercise more because exercise is a medicine. There are at least 40, 40, 40 chronic diseases na makil sa exercise. Food is a medicine, exercise is a medicine. And my favorite, laughter is a medicine as well. Our, when, when we were kids, we laughed 200 to 300 times. We laughed? Every day, 200 to 300 times. But when we grow older, it's only 15 a day. Sometimes no more. <laughs> 15 a day now. And according to research, 10 minutes of continuous laughter is equivalent to 13 minutes of aerobic exercise. Yes. 15 minutes of continuous laughter equivalent equivalent to two hours of sleep. Yeah. 10 minutes of laughter is equivalent to 30 minutes of aerobic exercise. And, ang pinakamanami pa yun, Ma'am Juji, if you always laugh, it will add 8 years to your life.
Actually, I have a doctor therapy. I'm very much fond of doctor therapy. It's one, it's one of my my interventions actually for depression, for loneliness, it, for stress. It's doctor therapy. Sample? Let's not, let's not. As I said before, our body cannot recognize if our laughter is fake or not. The benefits are equal, what you say. So, ha, ha, hu, hu, ha. Hu, hu, ha, ha, ha. Ready, start. Hu, hu. And you have to do it with clapping. Ready, yeah. Hu, hu. One of the most powerful emotionally healing verses in the Bible. 
So whatever is true, whatever is pure, whatever is noble, whatever is praiseworthy, think on these things. Wala siya ng hamba na whatever is impure, whatever is dishonest, whatever. No. It's all positive. We have to think on these things. Okay? Don't think about the negative things. Is it true? No. <laughs> so this is, these two words is very, very, very important in your mental health. Because, young ladies, if you will never question your thoughts, then you will believe it, even though your thoughts are lies. So you have to question your thoughts. Every time there, there is a thought, is it true? Nalaw ay ko? Ah, is it true na na tambo ko ang Or is it true na wala na din mahigong masakol? Okay, so you have to question your thoughts. One of the most important steps in getting healthy in a lasting way is to get control of your mind. Control your thoughts. Whenever you feel anxious or out of control, write down the thoughts that are going through your head. This is what you call another therapy, ANTS therapy. Automatic negative thoughts. A stands for automatic and negative T thoughts. So ANT therapy. Automatic negative thoughts. So you have to control our automatic negative thoughts. We, we have to control our ants. We have a lot of ants in our brain. Recording thoughts helps to get them out of your head. So it is true. Yes, it's true. So, paano natin gina-distort ang akong thoughts? Number one, over-generalization. For example, oh, I always, I always, I'm always late. I, I, I never, I, I, I am never, I, I am not, can never do anything right. No, every time, every time I memorize, I forget it. Basta mga, always, if you use always, never, every time, that is over generalization. Meaning that is not true all the time. Number two, thinking with your feelings. I feel like a failure. I feel God has abandoned me. I feel hungry and must eat or I will get sick. That is thinking with your feelings. That is not true as well. And predicting the future. So you will say, ah, oh, healthy food will be expensive and won't fill me up. I can change my habits for the long term. Nobody will ever love me. That is predicting the future that is not good. And blame. Blame is your fault. I'm out of shape because you want exercise with me. Or you will say to your mom, it's not my fault, I eat too much. It's your fault because you told me to clean my plate. <laughs> so blaming is not good. Very, very bad. Denial. I only overeat when I'm stressed. Not every day. I can stop consuming chocolate anytime I want, but I just don't want to. And focusing on the negative. I wanted I wanted to lose 30 pounds in 10 weeks, but I have only lost 8 pounds. I'm a complete failure. Oh! Ano dapat ang positive na hambalo niya sa ina sa bibi? I already changed my lifestyle. I already lose 8 pounds. Now I will continue my healthy lifestyle and I will reach my goal. So these are the distorted thoughts that are part of our health mental health, overgeneralization, thinking with your feelings, predicting the future, blame, denial, focusing on the negative. Next, seven, seven simple steps to boost your brain and renew your thoughts. Then what? 
Kung magkaampo extra rice, then what? Kung magpulaw sa buong, then what? Kung magkaampo sa sa pizza, then what? So, then what is very important? Because it is based on the consequences of your behavior before you are. Get three hours of sleep. Keep your blood sugar balanced. Kasi kung low ang yung blood sugar, you have past, poor impulse control, irritability, and more and more body decisions. Optimize your omega-3 fatty acid. Why? If your omega-3 is low, you will have depression, ADHD, Alzheimer's disease. Read your purpose driven goals daily. According to Pastor Rick Warren, the, the, the author of Purpose Driven Life. Is my behavior today lining up with my purpose? Practice using your brain. Strengthen the self control part of your own brain by saying no to the things that are not good for you. No to soft drinks that are not good for our health. Balance your brain chemistry. So in conclusion, be careful what you think because your thoughts run your life. Out of the abundance of your heart, the Lord speaks. So journal your gratitude daily and allow God to restore and transform your mind. Now last, last, I have only two slides here. The friends essential. When it comes to your health, everybody needs a body. No one is an island. We need each other. People getting healthy together lose twice as much weight as those who do it alone. So get a body here. The wisest man in the world, King Solomon, you need two are better than one. Friends inspire you, motivated you. A team of friends will keep you on track for the race that God has given you to run. So choose a friend that will really support you in getting healthy, not discourage you. Let's get healthy together with the grace of God. What are you saying? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Now let's get healthy together with the Spirit of God. Okay, the greatest healing. Therapy is friendship and love. And love. By Hubert Humphrey Young. The greatest, greatest healing therapy is friendship and love. Now for conclusion, now it's time to assess where you are. Reflect and take a step. Where are you now in your health journey? Everyone has a different starting point, so make this very personal. How is your overall health? How is your spiritual health? How is your spiritual physical health? How is your mental health? How is your social health? What changes do you want to start with? Okay, the faith is essential. God has given you a mission in life, and only you can fulfill it. Are you going to let your health stand in the way? Are you going to be able to face your Savior at the end of your life and say, I finished the race. I did what you put me on earth to do, my Lord. The food is essential. Our philosophy is that if it is was grown on a plant, eat it. If it is was in it, if it was made in a plant, leave it on the shelf. Like mga chichirias, diba? Junk fruits. The best medicine for the fat and sick nation is something so simple, so easy, so healing, so affordable, and so accessible to almost everyone. Cooking real whole food in the home with your family. Now let's go to fitness essential. What is the miracle here? Physical activity. Move your body because exercise is medicine. Next, the focus essential. Boost your brain health and you will boost all your other efforts. 
for a healthier life. Let us develop brain in being. By all means, let us take good care of our brain, of our mental health, for God's glory. And the friends is essential. You all know this, the benefits of relationships. Okay? You will have a happy and healthy life. You will create better output and a lot of benefits. Okay, that's it. Any question with my with my lecture? Uh, I prepare a rosemary tea. It's there. So these are the benefits of rosemary. I prepare also with uh, basil. This is the benefit, and then hibiscus uh, tea or roselle, and then with chia seeds. Yeah. So, what are the questions on lecture? So let's gather around and pray for our food.